So now that you've gone through the website, we're ready to create our own slideshow. The first thing I'm going to talk to you about is importing media. To import media, we go to the top of the screen and you'll see a folder with a green arrow down that says import media. We'll click on there and I already have it pointing at a folder where there's some photos. So I'm going to click the first photo and I want all four of these. So I'm going to click the first photo, press shift, left click the last photo and click open. This will open numerous instances of the same from the same folder. So I've got some images. So the next thing we want to import is some audio. So I'm going to go to import media. I'm going to go to pictures again. Excuse me, I'm going to go to music. Scroll all the way down. There's a particular song down here I want. Click on it and click open. So now that I have pictures and audio, we can start making our slideshow. Now this is going to be a very short slideshow just for purposes of showing you how to do it. So we're going to go to library first because we want to use some a theme. We want to use an animated um, start for our project. So we'll go to dark hallway, uh, left click on animated title and bring it down to our track number one. It's going to ask me what size do I want my video to be. Um, right now it's at 854 by 480 which is fine for YouTube which is where we're going to publish this. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to push the animated title to the beginning of the timeline. If you notice the timeline is at the top. Slide this all the way to the left. Right now, this clip is about 15 seconds long. Well, it's 20 seconds long, and that's way too long for a title. We're going to slide this back, and we're going to make it about 8 seconds long. A little bit further. Oh, too far. There we go. 8.02 is close enough. We're going to double click up here. That opens the text area and I'm going to put in SCSU 101 because the marching 101 band is going to be the topic of our slideshow. So now that that's done I'll click back on the timeline it collapses down and you see SCSU 101 if we move it move the time bar back and press play you see that our titles animated and our SCSU 101 comes in nicely. So we're going to click pause. We're going to go back to library. Actually, we're going to go to our clip bin. And I'm going to bring the audio down. So I'm going to left click on this song called Next. It's one of the songs the band plays. I'm going to drop it on the time bar. I'm going to slide it to the beginning of the timeline on track number two. And remember, I haven't been doing it, but we need to rename our tracks so we know what they are. That's audio. And that's title. Okay. And next, we're going to want to bring our pictures in. So we're going to add a new track. We're going to name this one Photos. And we're going to bring our pictures in. So left click and grab it drop it on the timeline and then we're going to let push it to the left until that yellow line shows up to show that it's even with the animated title now right now this clips about five seconds long which is a little too short we want them to stay on the screen a little bit longer so we're going to right click on them click duration and we want them for eight seconds we're going to grab the next picture bring it down Slide it to the right so that it's even. Right click duration, 8 seconds. And you'll continue doing this for all of your pictures. Now do all of your pictures have to be 8 seconds? No. But it does add nice continuity and flow if your pictures are on there for about the same length of time. So now we have all of our pictures on there. And as I said, this is going to be a really short slideshow. So we're going to go back to our library and we're going to get the basic title this time and drag it down to another track. We're going to have this one be on track four. 
We're going to name this end title. We're going to double click on it because we can add some words to that. And we're just going to type goodbye. You can put whatever you want on it, but for me, I'm going to put goodbye. Okay. Now, the song goes out way further than the ending of our slideshow. So, we're going to left-click it and hold, and we're going to drag it back till we get that yellow line. The song is all actually also very loud. Um, I'll let you hear part of it here at the beginning. And that can be an annoyance to people too. So we're going to do a couple of things to this um, really quick. We're going to right click on it and bring up edit audio. This green line shows where the tops of the peaks of your music are. You can left click and hold this and pull it down. And that reduces the volume of your music. I also want to add a fade in. So I have to drag the time bar to where I want the fade to start. And I'm going to click Fade Out. This makes the music softer as it goes out. I'm going to left click this bubble and bring it all the way back because I want it to start at the beginning of our end title. So that's taking care of the audio. And now you may want to do some things in between your photos because I'll show you right here. Between these two photos. <laughs> there's an abrupt change. To fix that, we'll go to this area called Transitions. So we're going to click on Transitions, and I'll choose a couple so you can see what they look like. We'll do Checkerboard for this one here. And you place it in the areas that turn yellow on the picture. We're going to do a Cube Rotate for this one. Fade Through Black for this one. Uh, gradient white for this one. You generally want to keep the same transition or maybe one or two different transitions um, for your slideshows. I generally don't use transitions at all. Um, maybe fade to black to go in between, but be as creative as you want to be. So now let's see. And I'm going to show you something else real quick. When I hit play, we're going to go through this transition. And the transition is very jerky. That smooths out once you produce the video. So as you're previewing what you're doing and looking at the transitions, you'll notice that they're pretty jerky. That one was the checkerboard. The Q rotate. The fade to black. They're very jerky. These will smooth out, I promise you, when you produce and share. Now, to produce and share your video, uh, let's just say our video here is done. We go up to the produce and share button. This gives you several options. The first is you can share it to YouTube. If you already have a YouTube account, you click on this button. It's very easy. It automatically uploads it to YouTube for you with the proper settings. You can share the screencast. If you purchase Camtasia Studio, you have a screencast account that allows you to store videos and share them from there. The one I'm going to show you is Produce and Share, and this gives you several options. It gives you the options to send it to Screencast again and YouTube, to save it as an MP4 standard definition or high definition, or MP4 standard and high definition with a video player for use on the internet. If you click on Share to YouTube, you click Next. My information is already in, so I'm going to click Next. You simply put in a title, a description, and your tags, and make sure it's listed as public. You click Finish, and it's posted to the web. I'm not going to post this one because it's not really a well-finished video. So that's it for that. Thank you for viewing my videos. I hope this helps you create your own slideshows. 
to enhance learning in your classrooms. Thank you. Have a good day.